been spending the past few weeks getting ready for our very first camping trip. Everything you see around us is most of the supplies we're bringing with us that we have been collecting along the way. And this video is just sharing all of this supplies with you. This is our first time camping, so we want to take you guys with us on our journey. So feel free to let us know how we did in our comments later. And if we did a little too much or we didn't do enough. And thank you guys for following us through this journey of camping. So we're just gonna go through and show you some of the stuff that we got and anything that's on Amazon, I will definitely leave a link below in case you're interested in any of this camping supplies. The first thing we got and the most important part is the tent. We chose to go with the Coleman Weathermaster. It's a six person tent with a screened in porch and it is actually really big but six people is actually designed to lay that way. So really it's just gonna be for the two of us, but we wanted to make sure there was enough room in it and that we could stand up. So we have practiced putting this together one time in the yard, so we pretty much know what to do. We know there's going to be plenty of space and we're really excited about it. So when we set this up at the camp, I will definitely do a video tour of the tent. We got this tarp because the screened in porch does not have a floor. So we really just wanted to have something to lay down. We chose to get this leafy camouflage look to blend in with nature. So this will be fun. Next, we got two of these really comfortable chairs. These chairs we plan to put in the screen porch area and sit out there. We'll probably bring them in at night because they are a fuzzy material that we don't want to get dewy or wet, but they are so comfortable. We actually found these at Walmart. We were walking through, I saw the chair and immediately grabbed it, opened it up, sat in it and said, this is it. It's awesome. Yeah, a lot of camping chairs or like outside fold up chairs, they're really not comfortable. So we're going with this. Next, we each got one of these cots. This is the Woods Portable Quick Setup Folding Adjustable 2-in-1 Camping Lounger Cot. We were trying to decide between getting cots and getting a blow up mattress and this is what we decided. So as you can see, there are little feet to make it more sturdy. So this is chair mode. So if you want to do it as a chair, mm -hmm. if you want to sit in it and use it as a chair, you can raise it up for a chair or as a lounger like this. And so you can raise it up like this. Put it out like that. And for sleep, you just let it down all the way out. Mm -hmm. It's very comfortable. We really had fun laying in them. So we decided to get two of these instead of our, our air mattress, which a lot of people are using. We thought that maybe having cots and being able to adjust them accordingly mm -hmm. so that takes us to next on our list okay we bought memory foam um it's in the case casing so we have these these memory foam mattresses. And as you can see, this is almost a perfect fit. So this makes the cot extremely comfortable, as you could imagine. And honestly, you probably don't need this, especially if you're used to just throwing a sleeping bag on the ground. 
but you know we wanted the experience to be as comfortable as possible because we do plan on starting to camp more often so you actually don't need to use the bag that this comes with it actually has a handle on it once it's rolled up but we noticed that it is really easy to fit right back in the bag so if you want to you can and there's some extra pockets down here to put stuff there's also backpack straps so if it's easier for you to carry like this you can keep it in the bag and it also offers a little bit more protection so it's completely up to you and as you know sometimes things that roll back up are really hard to fit back in the packaging but this one's not it's actually really easy and as an extra bonus it came with these earplugs and this cooling gel sleeping mask next we have sleeping bags we both chose to get coleman sleeping bags we're not going to roll them out right now but we can show them to you when we're actually at the camp these two are both coleman sleeping bags they're 20 degree sleeping bags actually this is the newer model this is the older model this one feels a bit softer than this one we were actually searching pretty hard to find sleeping bags that weren't that silky material because neither of us like the feel of that or the sound of that. And it was actually pretty hard to find, but we were successful. She ordered this one on Amazon. I actually found mine at Dick's Sporting Good. Hanging in the store. They don't have this model anymore. This one had just been hanging on display. And I felt it, and I was like, wow, I want that sleeping bag. So they sold me this sleeping bag at a discount price, and it's actually the best sleeping bag they had in the whole store. Mm -hmm. And so, it's so like, big. It's big and soft and comfy. It's so much material, like, oh, my God. I got a great deal. The next thing I'm bringing is this really comfortable yoga mat. So I actually got this to put on top of the cot before we decided to get the memory foam. But now I'm still bringing it because there's an extra space in the tent when you first walk in that I'm just gonna lay it down to kind of have a spot to plop down on whenever I want to or maybe do some stretching or yoga or something like that. So just a comfortable spot to sit that's not the cot inside of the tent. I might even stand on it to get dressed, I just don't know. The next thing we're bringing is this fold-up table. So it can adjust to three separate heights. And this is the table we're gonna have in the screened room area with those big black comfortable chairs. So we're gonna sit out there and play cards. We're gonna play Uno Flip. Yeah! Next, we're bringing a couple of our cooler bags for our food and drinks. I'm going to be doing a separate video all about the vegan food that we're bringing camping. So, check back for that video later. And then, of course, we have the lighting. First, I just have this little light that hooks to the top of the tent. So there's an overhead light. This is the iLogic rechargeable LED carabiner light. It does come with a charging cord and as you can see, you just recharge it right here. And the carabiner is great for wherever you wanna attach it to. Again, we will be attaching this to the top of the tent so it can hang down. So let's turn it on. It is very bright and there are four light settings. You do have to pass through this emergency option to get to the off, which I'm not that happy about, but that's okay. Overall, I am happy with this product and excited to use it inside the tent. And this is a rechargeable LED light, so we will just recharge it. And we do have an extension cord here. So we're actually camping at a campsite that will be right next to our truck, so we can charge stuff in the truck at any time but there is also an electric hookup. So we can hook up the extension cord and recharge any of this stuff along with the camera because I will be needed to recharge the batteries a lot. This is just a little flashlight that I decided to get so I have something for if I'm needing to walk to the bathroom at night or something like that. This does take batteries. 
So we're bringing some extra AA batteries for the flashlight just in case. So there are a few different features, just the regular flashlight. Then this bigger light. And shit blinded me. And then this is of course the emergency signal. Next is the coolest lantern ever. This is the Swiss Tech Bluetooth speaker plus lantern. So this is rechargeable, of course. And first of all, it's a lantern and it's pretty bright and you can keep on turning it up. I love that you can decide how bright you want this. So it's also a Bluetooth speaker, which you can see the controls for back here. We have tested it out and it sounds pretty good. We have not yet tested how long the battery lasts without having to recharge. So we will be testing that out on the trip. And last but not least is our fire stuff. So we have wood and fire starters. We obviously won't bring this whole box and lighters. And we bought these giant skewers for roasting marshmallows. We found these vegan marshmallows by Dandies and vegan oat milk dark chocolate. So we will be making s'mores. We got the graham crackers as well. So we'll just be roasting the marshmallow and then sprinkling these chips on top, which I actually thought was cooler than the big blocks of chocolate because you can choose how much chocolate you want. Sometimes those big blocks are too much anyway. So I will be featuring these again in the food video. So please check back for the vegan camping food video that I'm planning to make soon, showing you guys all the food that we're bringing to the campsite as vegans all the plant-based options that we're bringing so here's everything lined up ready to go in the truck and other than this stuff and the food we're obviously bringing clothes and bathroom supplies obviously didn't need to show you guys every single item that we're bringing but this is some of our newer stuff, our fun stuff. And again, anything that's on Amazon, I will link it below. The woods cots, the tent, and the memory foam are definitely on there off the top of my head. So we will also be doing review videos of some of these products. If you're interested, please check back for those videos as well. So guys, what do you think? Did we do okay? Did we do enough? Did we not do enough? Feel free to let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching.